Hello everyone. Here in this video, we want to find out magnetic induction on the axial line of a bar magnet. So let's me let me first explain what do you mean by axial line of a bar magnet? Yeah, that's the point with which we start the business. So this is a bar magnet, which is in the shape of a bar, artificially made, which has two poles. Let this is the north pole. This is the south pole. Each has the same pole strength of M and M, separated by a magnetic length. Let the magnetic length is 2L. From the center of the magnet, it's 1L here, one more L here, together it is called a 2L. Now, what is an axial line? A line passing through the magnetic center, that is this point, and along the poles of the magnet. These are the north pole and south pole. So if I extend this line, this line is called as axial line. So let us consider a point P on the axial line. Who is at a distance D? But let me make it simple by calling, by measuring the distance from the center of the magnet. D is the distance between the magnetic center to the point we are considering. On that point, we want to find a magnetic induction. Then what is magnetic induction? It is the force experienced by a unit north pole when placed in the field. So here I will keep a unit north pole, that is pole of pole strength 1 of north pole. It is placed in the magnetic field of this bar magnet and now this experience a force resultant force. That resultant force is called magnetic induction. So on this unit north pole, this north pole because similar poles, this north pole of the bar magnet applies a force of repulsion because similar poles repel each other. So what's the direction of that force? This is that force. Force due to the north pole of the bar magnet. How much is that? I can write using inverse square law. Assuming this all happening in vacuum, you know, by 4 pi, m1 is pole strength of the bar magnet, m2 is unit north pole because you are calculating induction by the distance between this point and this point. It was given that this total distance is d, but this distance is the length of the uh, half the length of the bar magnet. So if you want only this distance that is between this north pole and this north pole that will be this total distance minus this distance how much is that total distance is d minus l so d minus l whole square similarly on this north pole unit north pole the south pole of the the other pole of the bar magnet applies a force of opposite poles now, attraction that's the force due to the south pole how much is that? Mu naught by 4 pi. One pole is M here. Another pole is this one, unit north pole, because you want induction. And the distance between this south pole and this unit north pole is from here to here is L. From here to here is D. So the total distance will become D plus L. D plus L whole square. But if you notice little carefully, force due to the north pole is this way, force due to the south pole is this way, they are in opposite direction. So resultant magnetic induction B is the resultant force experienced by a unit north pole when placed in a magnetic field. Then the resultant force is subtraction of that. But it is very clear that F north pole is bigger than that of F south pole because this distance is less, everything else is same and this distance is more. So magnetic induction is the subtraction of these two forces because these two forces are in opposite direction. U naught by 4 pi and M into 1 is common in all these equations. U naught by 4 pi and M, U naught by 4 pi and M is common. So what else is remaining? Here, 1 by d minus l whole square minus here this value. What is that? 1 by d plus l whole square. 
So if I simplify this, I will get the magnetic induction. Let us simplify that. M0 by 4 pi into M. Denominator is product of that two things, D minus L whole square and D plus L whole square. So D plus L whole square. Let me write it again clearly. Just for the sake of clarity. Here. D plus L whole square. And in the numerator, first term will be D plus L whole square minus second term will be D minus L whole square. Simple mathematics. So, what's remaining? U0 by 4 pi m denominator a minus b whole square and a plus b whole square is a square that is d square minus l square whole square. And the numerator is d square plus l square plus 2 dl minus the other term is d square plus l square minus 2 dl. So this is minus d square and d square will cancel. This is minus l square because there is a minus here. This will cancel. Minus of minus that second term becomes a plus. So how much will be the equation? U0 by 4 pi m is common. 2 dl and one more 2 dl. 4 dl by d square minus l square whole square is the resultant magnetic induction on the axial line of a bar that's the answer. Of course, I can write 2L and to M as a magnetic induction. So, mu naught by 4 pi M into 2L. So, out of this 4, 1, 2 is gone. 2D is remaining. D square minus L square whole square. This M into 2L is called magnetic in, uh, moment capital M. So, I can rewrite my this equation as what? mu naught by 4 pi 2 capital M under D by D square minus L square whole square. This is an equation. I can say like a final equation. But I want to write a condition for this. What if? If bar magnet is short. If magnet is short. Short bar magnet means L is smaller than D. That's a small magnet. Length of the magnet is much smaller than the distance of the point where you are calculating an induction on axial line. Then L square becomes much smaller than D square. And in this equation, I can ignore this L square. So what happens to my equation now? New equation. B axial. So short bar magnet can be written as this. U0 by 4 pi. 2m into d by ignore this l square part d square whole square that's d power 4 so may not by 4 pi 2m into d by d power 4 1 d can be cancelled both in numerator and denominator so b axial of a short magnet is may not by 4 pi 2m by d q that's the equation that we are intended to derive and if you observe little carefully, mu naught by 4 pi is constant, 2 is a constant, magnetic moment for a bar magnet is also a constant. So for a short bar magnet, magnetic induction on the axial line is inversely proportional to cube of the distance from where you are calculating the magnetic induction from the center of the bar magnet. That's how we can define, we have defined induction as the force experienced by unit north pole when it is placed in a magnetic field and basing on that, that simple definition we have derived the entire equation to just mathematics there is nothing big complication simple mathematics right for watching